Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your mid-August 2017 tarot reading. So the very first message that I have out here is um, they mention a house that is barely lived in. So I feel like, especially for those of you who are property owners, I do feel like you're going to work and then, you know, you're going home to sleep. And I feel like the only time where you're actually physically home is when you have to cook something for yourself or when you have to sleep because it feels like you're constantly on the go. You're constantly, constantly, constantly like looking for other opportunities or going out a lot. So you're rarely home. And so one thing that you might want to think about is, is it, you know, a good time for you to downsize the amount of living space that you're in? If you're not there most of the time, is it a good idea overall to have a roommate? Is it an idea, a good idea overall to downsize so that you're not paying a, an exorbitant amount in mortgage, in rent? If that's an area you can cut corners on, I feel like that might be a, a good thing for you to reduce your expenditures because if you're not there most of the time, you can do with less, right? And then the other thing I'm feeling as well is um, I, I feel like you'd want to really control your spending, okay? I feel like a lot of you are taking, you know, very expensive trips, cruises. Um, I just feel like a lot of movement happening with you. And I also feel like going out and about socializing, meeting up, doing happy hour. And I feel like this is on a consistent basis. Like it's happening a lot where it might start to, you know, really affect your uh, income it might really affect your savings so I do feel people taking money out of their savings account in order to pay for all of these you know uh, disposable um, it, it's like you overestimate the amount of disposable income that you have for for entertainment and then by the end of the month which is you know this reading is going to run from the 15th until the end of the month um, you might be in the red, so you might have to withdraw money from your savings in order to cover the expenditures. So please be careful about that, okay? For others of you, there are a lot of opportunities when it comes to going out, socializing, dating as well. But I almost feel as if there's a little bit of an imbalance when it comes to dating. You might be making a lot of money and your partner might not be making as much money as you do. And so the places that they want to go or the, you know, the, the, the forms of recreation that they want to engage in, it seems like it's falling below your expectations. And, you know, that's not a bad thing because I feel like you like the person that you're interacting with. So you're just going to go along with it. But I feel like over time, that can also be something that you need to talk about. And at the same time, you might not need to go out in order to have fun. You can still entertain guests at home. You can invite people over. You can also, you know, if you have gone on several dates and you trust the person, bring them over so you can have like uh, some quiet time to really get to know them because it's good to be out and about and surrounding ourselves with a lot of people. It, it's fun. But if you want to get to know somebody on a personal level, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it might be good for you to bring them home so that you can have this alone time. So you can, you know, share and you might not have to be, um, so even though the environment itself, it's quieter and I feel like you're just more comfortable having them and other people around so that you don't have to have these intimate <coughs> excuse me, discussion so early on, but I feel like it's good for strengthening, you know, relationships and especially for getting to know somebody before you completely decide to either, uh, like whether or not to date them or not to date them at all. So that's going to be very, re um, necessary in your new relationships. Okay. <coughs> excuse me. For some of you, I still feel this energy about pining after an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend. I feel like somebody left your life and they, they left a big void, okay? And um, I mentioned this before, um, I believe March, March, the March time frame, March or February, I can't really recall, but it's, um, I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was manipulative. And for some of you, I have here a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For others, I have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I feel like they, they were very critical of you. You know, they nitpick. And um, you put up with a lot of their bad behaviors. You know, like you, you love them. You love them unconditionally. And you really, really love this person. 
and I feel like you know whatever their their eccentricities were, you overlooked it because you really care about them. You wanted things to work, and I feel like for whatever reason they couldn't do the same for you. And I feel like there are um, there there were like manipulations here, mainly because I feel like they they did things or said things to make you feel bad about yourself. And I also feel like whatever you did, you felt like it wasn't good enough. And I feel like you blame yourself. You you felt like, oh, if I were better, if I were different, if I were this and that, that person would have stayed with me. And I feel like some of you, um, you have you know like um, you have enough self awareness to know that it wasn't me, it was them. But I feel like in dealing with this person, because the feelings ran so deep, that you really it, it corroded your self esteem. And I feel like you're still pining after this relationship partner, even though you knew deep down it wasn't good for you, even though you knew deep down that the person might have been manipulative and they made you feel less than and they made you feel as if you weren't good enough. Okay, so be very, very careful about past energies coming back in and being very, very careful about, you know, not allowing people into your life that really corrode your self-esteem. You're at your best when you are confident, when you know your limitations, when you know your capabilities. And you're not going to be operating at your best when you're with someone that constantly criticizes you and constantly tell you that, you know, you're doing something wrong. So I feel like Coming into this sense of self-awareness is going to be very crucially important for you guys. And a lot of it has to do with, I am me. If they can't love me for the person that I am, they don't deserve me. And so embodying that energy, that, that independence, that sense like, I'm not going to compromise for another person, especially if they put me down or especially if they say things to really you know hurt your self-esteem. You want to be very careful about that. Okay, Aries? But I feel overall, you are dating again. And I do see a lot of social engagement, a lot of social interactions. Just make sure these social interactions have value. Make sure that you have meaningful, deep conversations. Make sure you like the people that you're interacting with. Rather than just, you know, going for the opportunity to uh, be distracted in the social interaction, you want to make sure that you enjoy the company that you keep. Okay? And you also want to make sure that, you know, keep a little bit of a rein on your purse strings so that um, you're not in the red by the end of the month. I feel like there's major overhaul when it comes to your work situation. New projects you're taking on, new mergers, new ventures, new opportunities coming through. I feel like a merging when it comes to like two departments merging together or your job title is being merged. Um, it's, it's, like you're, it's like two positions open up and you're applying for one of them or you are in one of them and it, it gets merged, the responsibility gets merged with another position. And so you're still waiting for the dust to settle and you're still waiting to figure out, are my responsibilities going to change? Am I getting a pay increase because there's additional responsibilities? And you're waiting for new fun things that you can undertake in your work environment. And I feel like the, the career sector is really looking very, very good for you guys. And I also feel as if, I also feel like there are a lot of new things happening on the career front, but they're all very positive. They will bring opportunities for you to do fun things. So it's not going to be monotonous. It's not going to be boring. I feel like it's, it's new things are on the horizon. And um, November looks very strong from November into the March timeframe. I feel like there are going to be a lot of new things you can do on, on, in the work front that will allow you opportunity to be, you know, more visible, allow you to take on more responsibility and allow you to be kind of like to show your skills to your supervisors, to the people you deal with, to, to really shine in that work environment. So November to the March timeframe, I feel like new opportunities that will be very good for you. So, you know, keep yourself, um, keep yourself on your toes and grab these opportunities when they come in. Okay. Money looks really good, honestly. And I feel like your work money career looks very, very good. Um, I do feel as well that, um, the, the only thing is, uh, the relationship sector. I just want you to, you know, spend time with people that matter, spend time with people that you can have deep, soulful, meaningful conversations with. A lot of the times, uh, Aquarius and Aries, you might find those, um, 
situations not as exciting but i feel like in the quest for excitement you might miss out on you know really good people and so you want to um change the 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 way that you look at relationships and you look at fun excitement versus you know meaning okay um i'm going to leave it at that aries and um <clears throat> I'm going to be back for your September reading. I'll try to get them published like next uh, next week or so when I have time. So I will talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye-bye.